Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? So today on our smelly little rusty narrow boat, time for an inspection. We finally found that horrible leak in the bow thruster area, didn't we? So thanks everyone for sort of chipping in and giving us advice, but it turned out that none of us actually knew. Yeah, as we started investigating further, what you believe to be the cause of the problem actually wasn't the problem at all. We found like along one of the seams where I think the metal's been cut away to put the bow thruster in possibly is actually where it's letting the water in, or at least the, the most part, so. It's such an odd little spot, because obviously there's no seam on the top and there's a seam on the bottom, so you don't really see it. So it's sandwiched in between two bits of metal or something. But anyway, we have got some sticks like turbo. And supposedly this is amazing, and we're gonna plonk a bit of that on the underneath, which is gonna help a bit to start off with. But we also wanna attack it from the top as well. I think to do that, we might have to cut a hole in the seating area out the front there. It has a raised floor in it so which is quite rotten anyway so I think we might have to cut that out in order to gain access. Also you saw I lowered Becca into the water tank last week so this week I'm going to get lowered down there and start me scraping. <laughs> That's the plan anyway I want to get a good scrape on down there with me long stick. So I want to try and get into that water tank with as many tools as I can without having to clamber down in there. I think it can be done. You don't you don't have to climb down fully, do you? You can use sticks and prod around in there and scrape. No, I'm shaking in disagreement. But a few people on the marina, including Becca, have told me you're gonna have to get down there, Chris, to do it properly. Oh, oh God. I think you'll find I actually offered to do it. You did, but I, I am worried, you know, I don't want you going through, Bex. I'll be fine, I can <laughs> swim. Well, we'll start off with my sticks and stuff, and then if that don't work, I'll hoist Becca down again. We've also got to coat the water tank, obviously, put a nice little sealant in there, but I don't know if we're going to do that today or this weekend. We'll see. You were going to sand the kitchen worktops again, weren't you, Bex? I've got some sanding to do. So I thought it would be a good idea to start the engine up because I thought it hadn't been run for a long, long time. Turns out Becca had started it up and she knew anyway. Supposedly she told me and I didn't listen. Okay, so a thing that I've wanted to do for a while now is check the engine. I mean, we haven't started this up since last year, I think. And obviously we're taking the boat for black in, in just over a month, beginning of August. You know, I wanna, we wanna check that's all going. So let's get in there quickly and, uh, check the oil and start it up. I mean, this normally fires up lovely. It's a transit engine, but um, even though it's noisy, it seems very, very reliable. It, it starts better than my car, I'm telling you. So let's move this junk first. I'm getting sick of all this toiletry stuff down here. It's horrible, isn't it? Look at that, lovely. Again, didn't really have to move all this stuff had I known Becca done the engine check. I should have listened, allegedly. Now that is odd. It's completely bone dry down there. That is weird. That is very, very weird. I know it's been hot, but there's not one bit of water in there. And I believe this is paint down here. It's not rust, so that makes a change. I mean, yeah, there's rusty bits at the top here, but uh, not in the bottom, unless it's been painted over. It's probably evaporated because it's been so hot. <sighs> the dipstick check, isn't it? <laughs> I can spot a dipstick. So we'll check that first, see if my readings are adequate. Yeah, you want to wipe that off and you dip it in. Okay. Yep. That won't be accurate, but make sure you get <laughs> no gunk on it. So you don't want to introduce anything into that. No. In it goes, the old dipstick. Okay. Yeah. So we're all good. Okay, let's fire her up. Nice toilet things on the on the top. Oh no, it's disgusting, isn't it? Hide them. Don't want to see that, do you? Right, we off? Yeah, well. Never fails us, the old tranny. It roars like, straight away. That hasn't been started since last year, I don't think, has it? It hasn't. Uh, no, I started it a few weeks ago. Did you? Yeah. Well, I've told you about no four point times. There's starting it then, is there, if you've already done it? I've told you so many times we were talking about it the other week. <laughs> I just thought you wanted to start it because you wanted... There you go, boss. I'm telling you guys, the wombat never fails us. She knew exactly what she was doing. Back to work. Here 
standard day on the old wombat. X is sanding. I'm making cups of tea. <laughs> and then tell us a bit about them. So I'm going to do some final bits of filling of any holes and things and sand that back and then they're ready for blow torching and putting the oil on. You're going all in here as well? Quite big, So the reason why it's taking Becca so so bloody long <laughs> to do these worktops. It's because there's so many little steps to it. It's not just a case of getting some scaffolding boards and lumping them up there. And what I've just realised is you're all going to be in for some even more sanding action because after the wood filler has set, then I have to sand the board. <laughs> and then I'm going to blow torch the boards, after which I have to sand them again. Again? Before putting wow. the oil on. So there's going to be a lot of sanding action from those sanding. Fan. The illusion of like coming out here in like three weeks time and it's just this tiny little worktop that's just been sanded and Bex is still going at it, still sanding away. <laughs> sanding for the rest of my life. So a little bit of a hangover today guys. We went out and watched a band play in a pub. And there is only one single cure for a hangover today. Do you know what that is? Entering the dirty, disgusting water tank. Here we go. I'm doing it, Bex. Hmm, that's off to you. A lot of narrow boaters will tell you this is one of the worst jobs that you can do. And I have not been dreading it because we, we obviously scraped all our bilges. We're quite used to wire brushing and scraping around and I thought, well, doing the whole boat wire brushing it's got to be harder than doing the little the little smelly water tank isn't it but turns out you've got to climb down there and there's lots of spiders and things and yeah let's have a look anyway see what we're up against I'll tell you what i'm just checking for spiders <laughs> <laughs> is that not what narrow boaters do huh? just a little checky up here the old stick I could try not climbing in, I could try just scraping. Everyone says you've got to climb in the bloody thing. We'll see about that. Okay, time to mask and goggle up, guys. It's quite amusing trying to get this bloody thing on. Well, amusing for you. Oh, first time! There we go. And in I went oh, with my rustic. God. And this seems to be a layer of sediment. I think it's probably just been collected up through sort of old water down in here. Surprisingly, there's not much rust at the back there. Oh God, I thought that was a spider. <laughs> I thought it was a spider, but it was... <laughs> well, that a horrible job. <laughs> One moment, guys. Health and safety first. Always time to glove up. I'm going to operate. You might have to go down there, Bex. Can't get all the corners with the old stick method. There's noises coming from down there and stuff. I don't know how on earth you get down there. Can you get down there? Aren't there places like with a car where you take, you know, you take a car to get like a new engine tank put on? Why, when you buy a boat, do you have to do it all yourself? 
Why can't you just take it to someone that sorts it out for like 50 quid or something? Why is every boater expected to climb down there in that horrible little hole? I'd be tempted just to buy a bladder and then just leave it. This was never part of the plan, was it? This was never part of the adventure. This is a bloody mark, they said. <laughs> Don't you really, this top bit that's rusty, the bottom bit seems all lovely and fine. Well, not lovely, but doesn't seem as rusty. <sighs> lovely. Boat life. So we've had a good old scraper Rooney down there. I think now I might try going down there with the old wire brush attached to the end. <laughs> Telling you they weren't wrong, it's a rotten old job. <laughs> oh, I need you to help me build another stick thing, the wire brush edition. Let's start with him. Slightly older, like a, the doctor's surgery thing, isn't it? Which tool is he going to use? Crowbar of very health and safety orientated. Clearly. <laughs> All done, easy, 10 minute job. It's not a horrible job, I haven't actually finished it. I've just done the front bit actually. Might have to climb down in there and um, to get around the back. I reckon you can get down there with the little stick, you know. I really do. Very dusty down there. So a new day, a new task. Okay, so it's that special time again, guys. Your weekly instalment of getting into the bow thruster area. So the plan is to hoover up all the water down there, if there is any, with the mighty Titan. <laughs> then we've got our special sealant, sticks like turbo edition. And we're gonna try and get it into all those little nasty leaky areas that you saw in the last episode. I think there's about two or three little spots down there. And hopefully that should avoid having to get a welder to come and sort it out. What do you reckon? Do you reckon the sticks like turbo will do it? Pray for water, then the Titan can come to play. There's a tiny little bit in there. When in doubt, whip him out. Oh yeah. Let's nozzle up. Come to daddy, come to daddy. You ready? Very lucky. I nearly let him go in naked. Put his little swimming hat on. I'm pretty sure it'll just be a bucket spool, really. A bucket or not, it's worth it. He'll be hoovering up more rust than water. That's the game the Titan wants to play. So be it. The mind of his own sometimes. Oh no, there's a bit in there. The Titan needs cleaning, it's filthy. Always give the Titan a deep cleanse after every use. A king deserves to be clean. Get the old spout. back to her home. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. So fully trained on how to load one of these bad boys up again. Stick slight turbo we're on now. So just in time a storm is brewing outside. The surgeon's going back in. Okay, so a little bit of a bodge at the moment, but it should just sort of sort us out for a little bit. Thanks, then. A little bit better now. Bit, bit messy. I'm probably gonna let that dry and then I'll go over it again, just to sort of neat and tidy it up a little bit. Um, I, to be honest, I think it will still find another little gap to come through because 
because there's areas like behind this beam that I couldn't even get to. Just to get us out of trouble for now. I thought it was just a tiny little part of the beam, you know, where the water was coming through and a little bit at the front, but it turns out the whole beam running across is a few millimeters sort of open. So from the top, wherever the water's getting in, it's getting underneath that sill and it's finding a little area to sort of sneak under. I mean, I haven't got much faith in this, <laughs> but once I put the next little bit on, it'll be a little bit more sealed and then, you know, we'll see how it goes. Boat life.